God will provide for you. God is the one who created the universe. Now, I get where it comes from, this concept of consciousness. All of our consciousness is out there in the ether. And, you know, when you do good, you know, they get into this this karma kind of situation there. When you do good, you put it out there, you know, it'll come back to you or, you know, you're out in the ether with your conscious and all of our consciousness are coming together. That might be right. We find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in his book, the mother of the book, that everything is written. However, you're ascribing a creation. You're ascribing natural, a super, a superpower, you know, this, this, uh, a supernatural essence to a creation, and that's. But the there's also are there's also about. something even more problematic yeah. with that, which is okay. If you do good, it comes back to you. Yeah. What? No, 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 no. Right. Yeah. That's there's this simple, which is it. It re, in many ways, this is where it reveals this so-called mystical guru you know, jazzmatazz, you know, nonsense, is that it is actually hyper-materialistic, masquerading as something spiritual, because there can be nothing right. more materialistic yeah, a than a transaction. I do A, and I get B. It's like almost like a kind of riff on physics. Yeah. Every action has an opposite and equal reaction. So if I do good... The universe is not there to judge me, right? I am the judge, number one, because I'm the one that determines if what I did was good or bad. I'm saying it's good. According to what rubric? There is no rubric. I am the hermetically sealed, self-contained arbiter of truth. So I'm saying that this is good, and I'm throwing that out there, and like a boomerang, right, the the universe will throw it back to me because (laughs) the universe is obliged to do nothing other than that. It is a cold, dispassionate, uh, emotionless entity or really apparatus that all I have to do is throw that out there and it will come back to me. This is ex- this is the very opposite of Islam. Right. right. This is why Islam is very, very unique in this regard in that, number one, you can, you can do whatever you want to do, whatever your deeds are. It is God who will be the arbiter of truth as to whether or not, whether that deed is good right. or whether that is bad, right? And so, as Allah even tells the prophets, I said, I'm like in Surah Al-Jathiyah, and no thumma ja'alnaka sharia. We gave you a sharia, you know, fattabi'ha, therefore follow it. And of course, within the sharia is a, is a, is a collection, is a code of what? This is right this is wrong. This is beautiful. This is repugnant. This is good. This is bad. Mm. You know, righteous and evil. And so when you reduce this, you know, again, it's very, very, you know, sophisticated, at least to, as Obi-Wan Kenobi once said, it has a powerful effect on the weak-willed, right? <laughs> so if you're a person of weak-willed and you haven't studied Iman, you haven't studied Islam, you haven't studied Tawheed, you haven't studied Quran and Sunnah, then it can have this effect like, yes, I just put it out there and now it's just like throwing a ball at a wall. It'll just bounce back towards me. That is the epitome of materialism, where Islam says no, you do good, number one, for your own sake, because that is what is good. you're going to be repaid for on the day of judgment, not right now. Mm. On the day of judgment, you will be repaid for what you did that was right and for what you did that was wrong. Secondly, in the here and now, if you do something that is good, I might actually test you with evil. So this idea and that, that you, throws you pre- for a loop, and that's what I'm saying. Now we go. Now we're no longer just throwing a ball at the wall. It's throwing a knuckleball, right? It's yeah. like it's slipping and sliding, and so it really turns and reveals this to be nothing other than, uh, uh, really, at its essence, uh, uh, an unrepentant materialism mm-hmm. masquerading as spirituality. Yeah, I love it. Right. I mean, I, I to me that is just absolutely yeah. resounding. 